<clears throat> okay. Hi everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to install for, uh, install Food for Rhino plugins and how to make 2D your big geometry. Um, so first you gotta go to Food for Rhino, obviously, and find some things to actually put into your grasshopper. Um, if you already know how to do this, just skip to the make 2D part. If you know everything, thanks for watching the video. Um, yeah, anyways. Um, so, we're gonna trial, um, and gone, and gone, gone, whatever, um, and Amoeba for Rhino. Um, so I've downloaded it now, and it's on my desktop, so here's and gone files, and, um, here's another one that I downloaded earlier, um, so I'm gonna put that in. Um, this is Fox. Don't really know what it does, um, yet. Hopefully I'll get to learn that. And then there's Amoeba. So for stuff that are like just executable files, you just install that like the normal way. Uh, okay. Mm, that's good. Uh, I do not know this. I'm just gonna show you that that's what it's saying. Mm, yep. As long as it's going to the libraries, then that's completely fine. Um, let me just close that extra one. Yeah, I'm assuming that's his finish. Um, okay, so first you gotta do, uh, first thing you gotta do is open Grasshopper. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah, open Grasshopper in Rhino. Um, mine takes a while because it's trying to open all of these things. Just press close. Okay, so you have to go to file um special folders components folders and then this thing will come up and that's where you put all of your plugin components um so i'm just gonna open this drag it on to here so you go down to where it is and um i don't think this one okay so that's fine uh properties yeah okay as long as read only and hidden are unticked um, what normally comes up though is um, another box here that says unblock and you gotta um, like you know untick that one I think um, and that should like make your plugin work um, and then let's try it with the fox one should come up some of these things just automatically do it uh, let's try graph G H Okay, and aggregations GH. Well, I wish I had something here that actually had the unblock thing so you could see it. But yeah, you just gotta undo that unblock thing. Um, close your libraries. Close Rhino all over again. Um, open it. And... So it should come up in my bar. Yeah, okay, so Fox is here um, and all of its items are now here. Amoeba is here um, and the other one that we had was in the gone. finding it right now okay um <laughs> no it's a bit of a fail um so now i'm gonna show you how to actually do um make 2d so i've pre-prepared this file um this is a tutorial on youtube for triangular skin by ohm it's actually a pretty good way to learn grasshopper stuff um, yeah, so this is it here. If I just um, bake several of these geometries, um, oh, don't really want to do that. Okay. 
Okay, um, yeah. So if I just pick some of these dormitory trees, um, if anything, I'm actually pressing the space bar if you're wondering why this wheel is coming up. Um, yeah, so these are the big geometries. Okay, so I have this here. So how to make 2D, 2D this? Uh, a good thing you could do um, is actually save like a view. So if you open up main views, um, so say I want this view, and I just name it perspective. So every time I move it, I could just like return back to that. And it's great for like taking pictures in the same kind of direction. Um, yeah, so you put that like, it doesn't really matter where it is on the page. It's more in like how far you are from it and everything, because that gives you like the resolution of things. Um, so I'll come up close, select everything and press make 2D. Um, make sure you do show hidden lines, so it shows the lines behind. I'll just press OK for that. Ooh, I seem to have missed a part down there. Um, yeah, so it'll appear here. It's good to take it from the top, and because when you export these files, it will be from the view that you take it from. So if I export this now to... Uh, Illustrator. So if I open this, this will come up, and you've got two separate layers here. One is for the hidden lines, and one is for the visible lines. Typically, I put the hidden lines below so that I can actually see them behind the front lines. I'm just going to make that larger. Um, so you can see the hidden lines are actually black. Uh, sorry, the hidden lines are actually white. So let me just put a color background here. Okay, and um, so, okay, yeah. So you can see the hidden lines now. But that's not very effective. Um, what you can do is that you can actually just lock. So you can either put a colored background, or you can put a lock layer. Uh, sorry, lock the visible lines layer. Go to hidden lines, select it all. What I typically do is give it like a black with uh, black line color. I change the stroke down, and then I give it a dash line. too many lines, which in this case, it's just way too many. It's probably much nicer to just like do the visible lines. And then I just export that as an image and then use it into my, put it into my journal. Um, one thing you have to watch out for is the fact that you cannot actually make 2D a mesh. So to to show that, uh, okay. So I'll just lock like a surface here. So here's my locked surface. Um, obviously you can make TV this, but say you have a mesh. So I'm just gonna turn this into a mesh. Okay, um, I just delaunate mesh it, so that's all these things here. Um, I'm just going to break that. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So see this delaunate mesh here? It's pretty nice, it's a mesh. Um, but if I try and select it and go make 2D, it'll keep telling me select the objects to draw, and it won't select that mesh, it's not going to work. So what you actually have to do is, um, turn it back into a surface, um, which is, there's multiple ways depending on the mesh, but an effective way that I found was um, to actually first demesh it, um, demesh the file, so deconstruct the mesh, and then deconstruct the faces, 
and then um, so it'll give you like four sides. Ooh, I can do it. Okay, um, it'll give you four the four sides of like the mesh here. Um, so let me just connect that. So over here, it's showing me like points for the sides, and then I did surface four point, and that creates a surface. Um, if I bake that now. Always group things because it's really hard to move things if they're not grouped. Um, okay, so now it's actually surfaces. Um, if I go back to that perspective and I move across, so it's all from the same angle, and then now I just like move to do that. And go back to the book view, and it's over here. There. Um, so hopefully this helps. Um, message me again. Um, any of you guys can message me if you find that you're struggling with things. Um, and I'll try and answer it to the best of my abilities. Um, and if I have time. Um, like right now I've actually got a party to go to. <laughs> um, yeah, so I hope you guys have a good um break and see you then or see you in uni if you're around um which i'll probably be in during the week okay bye bye